Hello everyone and welcome to an unboxing. This is for the limited edition uh, holiday gift box. This is by Reveal uh, Book Box, which I do their monthly subscription for their romance boxes. But uh, this is their holiday edition, so I wanted to get their holiday box. So, I know there's going to be some signed books and a couple of goodies. You can't see because <laughs> it's just fake uh, tissue paper. All right. All right. Save 30% when you subscribe using gift 30. Revealbookbox.com. So save 30%. Okay, now this, I already have this item, which is a bibliophile beanie, so I will find a new home for that. This I will put on the tree, a Christmas tree upstairs. I'm just a girl in love with her books. It's a Christmas tree ornament, so just blank on the back. So this is cute. It's ceramic. Got a candy. This is a grape blow pop. Um, it came with a tea light candle. Um, oh man, I could smell it through the paper. This, it smells really good. It's just really strong. Um, so this will go in a drawer so if we ever have a power outage, that comes in handy. Um, comes with a pen. Read more books is what it says, and it's just a black pen, and I imagine black ink. Yep, black ink. So, standard black pen, and then, oh, got a sticker note. I like my Fairy Tales Extra Hot sticker. I'll find a place for that. And then, a little, uh pouch here. Read your heart out. So, okay, so I will use that. Avocado nourishing. Is this a <gasps> facial mask? Is this a sheet mask? Yes. Avocado face sheet mask. Okay. I like a good sheet mask. I love reading books bookmark. Same on the back as on the front. My journey starts at page one, bookmark. Same on the back as on the front. Okay. Let me get the books out. And this first one is Runaway Love by Melanie Harlow. This is book number one in a series. And let's see, I believe these ones are all signed as well. Yep. Yes, I'm a single dad who needs a nanny for the summer, but hire the standard runaway bride who shows up on my doorstep in a wedding gown with no references, no skills, and no experience. No one is that desperate. Except within 24 hours, down on her luck, Veronica Sutton manages to charm my kids, my family, and half the population of Cherry Tree Harbor, Cherry Tree Harbor, mm, uh, into believing she's perfect for the job and for me. It's not that I can't see the appeal, those baby blue eyes, the endless legs, that mouth made for trouble, but I've got enough on my plate, oh, uh, raising two kids on my own and keeping the family business alive. I don't have the time or the inclination to fall for an outspoken city girl, so I should have kept my hands to myself. Holding her in my arms was a big mistake. Even worse, spending the night together. She ignites a possessive fire in me that I'm finding hard to snuff out. But the most unforgivable, growing attached to the sound of her laugh, the scent of her skin, and the way her body wraps around mine in the dark. At the end of the summer, she'll be gone. And if I'm not careful, she might run away with my heart. My only problem is just the coloring <laughs> choices on the back. I love the colors. That's not the issue. It's trying to read the synopsis 
the color of the synopsis on the color of the backing. As you get older, it gets harder to do certain things like that. So next book is Pretty Little Mistake by Mikola Smeltzer. Uh, this one is a standalone and signed. A surprising second chance. Lennon Wells and Beckham Sullivan should have been perfect for each other. Both vulnerable, both striving to please difficult families, and both broken by the past. Going from friends to lovers seemed inevitable. So did a bad ending, they thought, they hoped. They'd never see each other again. Years later, bad luck or fate, Lennon and Beckham find themselves working for the same magazine. The wounds are still raw, but the chemistry is there. Then they're forced to work together on a project. Some things never change, and all it takes is one impetuous night, one mistake, and Lennon discovers she's pregnant. With more in common than they ever had before, Lennon and Beckham are going to be in each other's lives for a long time now, whether they like it or not. And they're starting to. If only they can break the generational traumas that hold tight and take a shot at something they never expected, a second chance. And this last one is the first book in a series. It looks like the series is called Campus Legends, so it's another sport. Um, I don't know what sport. Wait. Football. And this is How to Lose at Love by Sarah Nee. And I say football because I finally figured out what's back here. Helmet, the pet shoulder pad thingies. There's the football, the shoes, the pants. Yeah. Okay. And signature. I needed a good girl to save my bad reputation. With too much on my plate, the very last thing on my mind was a relationship. The football draft was looming and dating got in the way. I never understood why my teammates bothered with girlfriends. None of us had the time. When my sports agent suggested that being seen in public with a respectable girl would be good for my bad reputation, I couldn't think of a single person to help me out. The only girls I knew weren't wifey material, and the ones who weren't might catch feelings. Except Ryan Winters. Responsible, sarcastic, smart. Ryan was perfect, but there was one clincher. She was my teammate's ex-girlfriend, and I had recently been paid by him to dump her. Not the best start to a fake relationship. I literally just read a football fake dating relationship. And it's how, it was the same kind of thing where they need to fix the bad boy football player's reputation with a good girl. Uh, so this sounds like it's going to be very similar, but I am interested to know, uh, to see the differences and how someone else plays with those tropes. So, yes, now these books I imagine are going to be they will have spice, more than likely, because I did message the curators of the box. They said most of the time, sometimes there will be a clean one, but most of the time they will be spicy and they range from mild to extra spicy, so you don't know how what level of spice you're going to be getting. And these are all either independently or uh, self-published, more than likely independently published so or indie published so those are the three books I think they sound really good I am excited I am happy I got their Christmas one um, one thing I did notice on their website is you do know, as long as you're subscribed and you any boxes you get are under the same account or with the same email you don't have to worry about getting duplicate books there's no guarantee obviously with items but which I'm okay with, the uh, extra tea light. That'll come in useful, and I'll find someone to give this to. Probably my mom, because she's a bibliophile, too. <laughs> anyway, and we'll have matching beanies. So, but yeah, um, unless, the only way you're going to risk getting duplicate books is if you have, if you create, like, two accounts that have two boxes sent to you, then there's always an in very much an increased chance that you're going to end up with duplicates. So, just be aware, but they do keep track of what books go to what account so that you do not get duplicates so yes let me know have you read anything by Melanie Harlow Sarah Nee or Mikola Smeltzer or I'm sorry however you say this author's name yeah let me know 
These sound really good. I'm excited to get to these at some point. Talk to me in the comment section below, and until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book, and I'll talk to you later.